What's up? I'm going to create I'm back with a brand new video. Today we'll be covering the classic point system. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and join the Discord below. Other than that, let's just, just do it. Go over to your difficulty system. Go into your content drawer and grab a creature manager. Place that down and name this empty manager. One health, zero score, zero damage to players, zero damage to environment. You can make it like literally very slow. Knock back, turn that. You can turn that on. Enable at start new and existing creatures. Just copy it over and add all the type of zombies you have. Don't change anything else. To start off, I'm gonna need you to grab a player counter. Name this enter point counter. Target count, turn that to zero. Compare player count, turn that to do not compare. Enable on phase, turn that to game start only. Base color, you can do, I mean, the base color really doesn't matter, but turn it gray just so it's out of the way while you're editing and building. It makes it a little bit easier to see. Use zone, turn that on. Zone shape, you can do box. Simon zone to count, put one second. This just helps it so you're not spawning into a zone and it doesn't count for you. <clears throat> Make sure the zone is not visible. Zone width, depth, and height. You can put this anywhere on the map, right? It just needs to be where people spawn. But it doesn't have to be at the as big as the whole map. It could just be where the spawn pads are. But you need to make sure that they, at least they are getting counted. So in your content drawer, pull out a switch device. I want you to name this Enter Point Switch. In the way. Y'all should have told me that. I know that that's out of the way. Don't need that visible, really. Allow interaction. Put no. Store per player. Yes, this is mandatory. This is the important part. Check state at game start disable go into the content drawer and grab a player reference name this point reference color doesn't really matter show player details turn on hologram effect zero show base i would turn off yeah that's that's better stat to track put damage dealt amount to curve no updated register player uh go over just one like one slider it should be the when what is it when no register player Activate it and register by sequence or turn both of them off. And then play audio, turn that off as well. Okay, so, so far, you should look like this. You're gonna get counted here, which turns on your switch, and your switch is going to put you into a player reference. In your content drawer, grab an item grantor. Name this point grantor 10 slash 20. Receiving player, make sure it's triggering player. On grant action, keep all. You guys always ruin this setting anytime there's an item grantor. Grant current item, grant condition, always. Grant on cycle, no. Drop items at player location, never. Go into your items and grab gold. I need you to drop 10 gold in the first, like the first time. And then I need you to drop 20 points in the second time. There we go. Now place down another item grantor. Name this start points grantor. Grant current item, grant on cycle, no. Drop items at location, never. Grab coins, drop 500 gold in there. Now here's the thing that makes my system different than any other system. Go into your island settings, go down to UI, go over to HUD. I want you to turn the HUD information type to score. It's gonna be the score at the top of the screen and the more players that join, which is usually it's only four players, you'll see their score. You'll be able to track their points. You know who's getting points, you know who's being stingy now. Go into your content drawer and pull out a score manager. Name this 10 point uh, point manager. Ah, uh, I don't want to confuse anybody with this. I feel like this is going to confuse them. I would do one or the other. So I would do either the gold or I would do the score. You can get away with both. Numbers might not line up all the way, but you have to be very careful on how you do this. Add a score value of 10. We're going to add um, minimum score 10, maximum score 10. Play audio, turn that off. Display score on HUD, turn that on. You can turn it on if you want to, you don't need it on, but this, I think it looks cool with it on. HUD message, put points, turn it yellow, the same as the COD one. Okay, grab another score manager and place it down. Name this starting point manager. Score value, put 500. Score award type, put set. Play audio, turn off. Display score update on HUD, turn that on. HUD message, put starting points. Turn these yellow, the same color as you had on the other oh, one. Oh, this is the system right now should look something like this. Let's connect this up before we actually duplicate it so it's a lot easier for you. Okay, so in the enter point counter on player counted send event to enter point switch. And I want you to turn on. Uh, go to the point reference. In the point reference, I want you to put on track stat change send event to point grantor 10 through 20. And we're going to grant item. We want to put the 10 point manager. We're going to activate. On player updated send event to starting point manager, we're going to activate. And then the starting points grantor, we're going to grant item. 
that just connected those two and those two. I want you to grab the point reference and I want you to copy this four times for four players. You should have copies of these going back four times. Go to your switch. On turn on, send event to point reference. We're going to register. We have that connected to this. On player update fails, send event to point reference two. We're going to register player. Point register two on player updated fails, send event to point reference three. We're going to register player. In point reference three, player update fails, send event to point reference four. Go into your content drawer and pull out a elimination manager. Place this down right behind the last uh, point reference. Name this zombie elimination manager. Turn target type to all creatures. So next to the elimination manager, place down an item grantor. Name this point grantor 60 slash 120. On grant item, keep all. Grant on cycle, no. Drop items at location, never. Let me drop 60 and then drop 120 the second amount place down another uh score manager name this 60 point manager a score value put 60 score award type make sure it's add minimum maximum put 60 play audio turn off display score update on hud turn on put points color you can put gold or yellow again display score update if set to zero put yes go into your elimination manager because we're going to connect both of those things and on elimination, send event to 60 point manager, we're gonna activate. And send event to point granter 60 through 120, we're gonna grant item. Okay, so go into your content drawer and grab a tracker device. Name this point tracker melee. Stat to track, eliminations, target value to one. When target reached, do nothing. Show on HUD, turn that to no. Tracker completion ceremony, turn that to no. Tracked weapon category, turn this to melee. Non-player eliminations count, turn that to yes. Go over to functions, reset progress when receiving from, point tracker melee when complete. This is basically just resetting itself every time it completes. You can copy this item grantor, place it down right here, name this point grantor 45 uh, slash 90, or go over to your functions and clear those out. And then I want you to do grant item when receiving from, point tracker melee when, uh, when completed. You should be able to copy this one over as well. Name this 45 point manager. Score value put 45. Max min put 45. Everything else should be the same. In the functions, I need you to add melee when completed. What you to do is grab this tracker and place it down behind it. Name this point tracker and then turn this to headshot. Weapon category, go move this back to any. Any. Headshots only, you wanna put yes. Go over to events, you should see that the tracker will reset itself already. 45 point manager, activate. Point grantor, grant. And you should be good there. If you're doing the score way, or if say if you are doing both, copy the score managers, all three of them, and go over, just duplicate it. On the second one, the second ones are the double points version. Just double the, the amounts. So 20, 20, 20. So disable. Disable the second the second row of everything. Name this to 20 points. To enable this, we are going to do the double points. This is if you have double points. Double points manager. So on the double points manager, on pickup, you want to enable. And it's going to, I'm saying this applies to all of these. For all of these, it's going to be the same exact things you're going to need to do for all of those going up. So, enable this on pickup. You're going to disable on double points of the active timer on success. So, it's going to disable those. And then, on the original, keep it enabled, right? Keep the first ones enabled. I want you to enable this on double points active timer on success. And I want you to disable this on double points manager on pickup. Also in the item grantors. Now in all of the item grantors going upwards, instead of disable and enable, you're going to cycle to next on double points manager on item pickup 
And then you're going to cycle to previous when receiving from the active double points timer on success. So uh, simultaneously, it's going to cycle the gold grantor and it's going to disable the 10 and enable the, two, the 20. But that's what I'm saying. That's a lot of work. So if you want to do both, you can. It looks cool to have your gold and have your score show on top, you know, on the top of the screen. But I would go one or the other. I think it would be better maybe to start using this new system and learn how to use the attribute, um, what is it, attribute evaluator now? Because it's a new system, it's the new wave. It's the, I promise you, this should be the new thing in all zombies. Look at that. At the top, up here, our score. Every time I get a damage on a zombie, 10 damage, 10 gold, extra 10 on the score. So, a full kill, a full zombie kill should be 90 in my system. Let me see, headshot, there we go. Now, if I melee, 115, love to see that. 115, shotguns are a little bit more strong, but headshots are always 115. Body shots, 70 points. Doing this system with the score man, or with the score man, right? And the score, you're gonna have to learn a new device. So look, this is the device you're gonna need if you wanna do the full score version. This is going to be your equivalent to a conditional button. And what it does, uh, just quickly, you can set how much score it needs to pass. So say if you have a mystery box, you can change this to whatever price you want to. So let's do like mystery box price. And if you have that, uh, that amount, it will pass. And so what you wanna do, would, it would be you would add a you would check if you have that much score, just like a conditional button. You would add a score manager to, this is just a quick example, right? You would have a score manager or whatever the price of the certain interaction would be. So, you know, whatever the cost is normally, you would have a check for that much and then you would, on pass, you would also subtract that much. On these vending machines, these cost 750. What you would do is, you, the goals are gonna take it automatically. Buy from this vending machine, vending machine six. When you buy it, it's going to activate off of vending machine six. So on spawn, it's going to take away that score. Okay, so now that we have gold. Like I said, this vending machine will is connected to the system. So when you buy it, it's going to take away your gold and it's gonna take away your score right up here. I might have to do a separate video on how to actually use that device so then you will be able to connect it and use it right. Yes, they're using code Frozen Army. We know this. 